Good morning, guys. Look at this view. See this view? There it is. We're at Disney. Again. It's just gonna be a nice, relaxing day. Food and wine festival. Our trip number four. We're gonna get them cutting boards. Got a lot of food. And some wine. Let's go catch the bus. Alright guys, we made it to the bus. We're on the bus. We're on our way. On our way over to Epcot. Thank you. Alright guys, so as you can see, we made it. We made it in Epcot. Like I said earlier, we're just gonna have a nice relaxing day. Just Eating some food, drinking some drinks. Get our cutting board. Get our cutting board, of course. I don't know where we're gonna go first, but we'll uh, we'll let you know. Is. All right, off we go. All right, I know I said it was gonna be just a little relaxing day, but this fountain show is going off. And it's kind of getting me a little more excited, so who knows? Maybe it won't be a nice, calm, relaxing day. It might be full of excitement and fun. I mean, fun always, even relaxing fun, but it might be exciting fun today. I just can't help it. It just gets me right here. And as we make our way down from the, what is that called, Friendship Fountain or something? Come across these cool flowers and food displays. And in the backside of Barbecue Mickey, Barbecue Mickey, you know what? Barbecue, that's my thing. Mickey knows. Thanks, Mickey. Looks like today's first stop is gonna be on the island of Hawaii, introduced in 2011. And I think today, I'm gonna to do the Kahlua pork slider. Jessica, I don't know what she's gonna get. What a good job they do on these boots, too. They really theme them to the area that they're from, which is really cool. Jessica's gonna get a tuna tataki. Is that how you say that? Tuna tataki, tataki. I'm getting the pork slider. Check it out. It's a little pineapple. And there's there's one in there. Look at that. It's a real pineapple, I think. Might be fake, but I think it's real. Alright, so I got my uh, pork slider. It's a little chintzy looking. It's a little tiny. There's the old tuna tataki. Tataki. Kahlua pork slider. Tuna tataki. Spam hash from our friends. Our friends Sarah and Corel. Hey! They've come to join us on our food venture today, here in Epcot, the beautiful. Tuna. Tuna, is it everything you dreamed of? All of it. Now it's time for a little bit of this guy. Put them together, well, yeah. like this here. Pretty good, right? Yeah. Probably? Yeah. All right. Mm. That's good, sweet and savory, are you done? Nice. There's a reason why this comes back every year. Can I bite? That's what kind of sky we need today. How'd you guys like the spam hash? It was pretty good. It was pretty hearty. Pretty good and pretty hearty. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah, she's right. This breeze is a nice breeze. Oh, what a beautiful thing. It's not super hot. Where's the water fountain? We find ourselves in the forest of Epcot. I don't know what this is for. Oh, look, here's the water fountains. Right there. Yeah, we're right in front of it. Got some nice fresh water. Passing by Greece, we're going to Thailand. Thailand. Let's get something from here. <laughs> there's Thailand. We're not going to get anything from there, but our friends are. We thought about getting something from Mexico, but Jessica's not a fan of corn tortillas. And that's all they've got over there, are things on corn tortillas. So what'd you guys get? The shrimp and scallop cake. Mm. With cold noodle salad. Ooh, that sounds refreshing, cold noodles. Cold noodles. Hmm. 
It's interesting. <laughs> I think that she just thinks it's interesting, not really good, which is part of the fun of Food and Wine Fest, is just trying different things. Not always just getting what you like, but trying new things. The cake is awesome. The noodles, debatable. Still looks pretty. I like the colors. Yeah. We've decided to, well, our friends are going over to Mexico to get a uh, rice pudding cake or something. Rice cake? Not a rice pudding cake. A rice cake. We came over to Greece, and I think we're going to get the Greek nachos, because that sounds easy. Oh, wait. It's got meatless sausage crumbles. Jessica got scared off by the Greek nachos and their and their uh, meatless meat crumbles. But uh, so we got the Spanakopita instead. We're gonna try it out. A little spinach pie. So we've got our Spanakopita. She said it's really hot. So maybe we'll wait a second. No, going in. Tastes like we get two of. Them. Tastes like spinach dip. So we've got two in there. I like the flaky. Ooh, it is hot. Oh, it's extra hot. I think that's exactly what it tastes like. Spinach dip. Spanakopita. It's Look good. At it. Oh, it's cute. Oh, that's cool. Mmm. Mm. They ended up getting the rice pudding. I kept calling it a rice cake. That's a rice pudding. It's an acquired taste. Have you acquired it yet? No. <laughs> Here. Have a taste. All of it. <laughs> no. Oh, I'm gonna eat this now. Poor Mexico. Well, according to everyone else in my party, the uh, the rice pudding was just eh, okay, but to me, it was delicious. It was cool, refreshing. The flavor was not overpowering. Had a little flour in it. Ate that. Thumbs up from James. We're taking a little break inside with the dead. I think we're gonna take a little fiesta boat ride. A little break from this little bit of heat that's out there. So keep us good. Donald, and of course, Benchito, the three caballeros. We're gonna join them on a leisurely boat ride through the wonderful, beautiful country of Mexico. Let's go. Outside world. Right. See my shades. Come on, get those. Oh, that's better. Now that the clouds have come over, it's all right. At least I look cool. Right? We're gonna go in to see the gods of the Vikings. Ooh. Is that cool? We're gonna check out the old Kringla Bakery on. Cafe since it's open now. Ooh. Oh, there's some stuff there. Do you want anything? Oh, uh, yeah. What is this? This is from Lepsa and it's a flat potato bread with sugar butter and cinnamon inside. It's very good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we got a Lepsa and we got a Viking coffee that they're making up right now. Iced because it's hot outside. We're going a secret shortcut, not through the Stave Church, but this way. We're gonna go this way, the secret way around here. And then we go around here like this, like this way. And then we go this way here, 
And that's that. Oh, that's how we get through there. All right, so we got our Viking coffee and our Lefse. How's that Lefse? Lefse. Pretty yeah, good. pretty good. Viking coffee. Let's see if this turns me into a Viking. <laughs> mm, it's yummy. I don't feel like a Viking, but it's pretty good. We're in China now, though, so we're gonna get some buns or something. What'd you guys get? We got the black peppered shrimp with noodles. Black and a Baijiu punch. Oh, Baijiu punch. We've still got our uh, Viking coffee that we're drinking here. Well, we got the, uh, the pork. No, the duck. This is a roasted duck thing on a bao bun with hoisin sauce. That should be pretty good. We'll see. Tastes like one with a taste of coconut oil. Mm-hmm. Oh. You eat it like a taco? Mmm. Mmm. That's yummy. That's pretty good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. So tell us how this is. Spicy. Noodles are pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah? He's digging a little spicy. Spice. Nice. I like it. Spice is nice. Alright, so we tried all those foods and uh, they were pretty good. The lefsy was good. It was a sweet treat. It's got like a, a butter, cinnamon butter inside of it and it's rolled up like a, I don't know, like a thing that you roll up, like a taquito, yeah. And then we had the the roasted pork uh, on the bao bun. That was delicious, actually. I really like that a lot. And then our friends got the uh, the shrimp and the spicy noodle. It was really spicy, a little bit spicier than I thought it was gonna be, but it was really, it's really good. So, nice, calm, relaxing day, just going through, but also with some excitement. Let's see what else we can find. We made it over to Italy now, to the Italy. Little thingy. I think we're gonna get the Metsi Rigatoni. Rigatoni. Metsi Rigatoni. Looks like this. Thank you. Oh man, it's heavy. Nice. All right, we're gonna go get a table over here. Polenta or bake or pancetta or bacon on top of yours. I don't know. Oh, I didn't read that far. All right. Kind of sort of. Pretty good. The pasta could be cooked a little more. It's a little al dente. A little al dente. That's good. I like a firm noodle. <laughs> 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 All right. So that food was yummy from Italy. We like the food so much, we decided, you know what? That was so good, we're gonna go ahead and walk through Italy. You deserve it, Italy. You deserve it. You're weird. I think we're gonna go into the Tudo Gusto wine cellar. This place right up here. Oh, we're not, never mind, no. we're not doing it. Yeah, it was just something to walk through. Yeah, that's how I put it in. Okay. <laughs> All right, Italy, you've been beautiful and tasty. It's time for us to move along because we've got a long way to go. Heading over through America now. See if they've got anything to tantalize our taste buds. I think before we test our taste buds, I'm gonna go in here. This is the new American Heritage Gallery. Newly refreshed with lots of heritage of real Americans. Original Hawaiian t shirt. Hawaiian shirt? Not a t shirt. The AC is really nice in here, though. Ooh, look at this Sue Princess doll. That's pretty cool. Ooh, magic wood. 
I just, I just saw this. Wait for it. Wait for it. It just did something. Of course, now it's not going to do it. It was magic. What? Oh, that one's doing it. That one. But that one. But anyways. Little tidbit for food and wine and other festivals where Hops and Barley is here. Always go to the left entrance because it has like no line here and that side always has a line. But this side, no line. So go to this side. Unless you like lines. We got our food, we got our beef brisket. Looks like a pretty decent sandwich. We got the Americanon APA. I don't know what an APA is. And Jessica got a, a wine. She got some sort of Cabernet here. The Americanon. I just want to get something I haven't had, you know? Pretty good. Tastes like an IPA. But it's called an APA. So it's different. Just so you know, okay? Got this beef brisket sandwich. Let's see what this thing's like. It looks what? Mmm. This thing is good. That looks so much better than it tasted. It's moist. Good. That's actually really good. Yeah. That's actually really good. Right. Day is good. Day is good. Also, just a little side note, the weather is flipping perfect. It's overcast, a little breezy. Oh man, it's so nice. This is the way it's supposed to be. Not too hot and really not too crowded. This is perfect. This has sake in it? Yeah. Do you taste any sake? I don't. Maybe no. it's all on the bottom. So anyways, we got these uh, sake mist. We got pineapple. What was this? Pineapple. Uh, pineapple. Coconut pineapple. Coconut pineapple. And they got the blood orange over there. But uh, it's good. But it doesn't taste very sake yet. Maybe it's all on the bottom. That was pretty cool. Now we're gonna go inside, check out the store. Look at these socks. It's like socks for your whole, they're pants. They're just pants without the top. Those are, those are pants. Thank you so much. Next time you Alright, Jessica got the spicy tuna roll. I got this chicken teriyaki bun. She's going with that spicy roll. Is that pretty good? Mm -hmm. Let me try a bike. Take a bike. Let me track a bike. Where are we at right now? I know I have mm. These buns always look really cool. Mmm. That's good. It's like a sweet treat. It's like sweet meat. You want some sweet meat? All right. Your loss. Food and wine festival. Just relaxing, having some really good food. Just, just having a nice time, relaxing. Very serene. Just a leisurely food and wine day. Some great food. Like I said, 
just a little relaxing day, nice and leisurely. Calm, quiet. Alright, we're gonna go through here because Sarah's never been here before, never walked through at least. So we're gonna go in here. Of Morocco. Scarves of nature and Fatima. And then the squeakiest door in Disney. They fixed it. <laughs> <laughs> this is always cool in here. Maybe we're gonna look at Jasmine. And from Morocco to Belgium. We're gonna get ourselves a waffle. Why? Because waffles are awesome. And we're gonna get a chilled coffee with Godiva something or other in there. Finally got our drink, got our iced coffee. Let's go along with our waffle. We're gonna go enjoy it. Better be worth it. All right, we're gonna try to eat this thing, get a little bit of that, and whoop, whoop. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it tastes like a waffle with berry compote, but it's a nice treat. And that's our iced coffee. How's that thing? It looks very light. That's pretty good. It kind of tastes like a, just a chocolate milk, but adult chocolate milk. Hmm. It's good. Thanks, Belgium. Ah, and back to just relaxing. Nice, serene, leisurely stroll around Epcot today. Food and wine fest. Lots of food. A little bit of wine. But man, let me reiterate, it is so nice today. And we're going to get walking. Yep, just a nice day, not too big a holy moly, what is that? What happened? What is all that? What are all these people? What the, that was, uh, well, eh, enjoyed it while it lasted. Ten dollars. Honey wine. Honey wine. Must be really good. Ooh. Sweet. Yes. So sweet. It warms you all throughout. Only like honey nice It tastes a little kick to it. it what that stuff, the drink? The old classic bass ale. Uh oh. Ah, it's pretty good. Sun's back out. Crowd's out too. It's okay. I think that's what time it is for the day. Crowds are here. Cheers. So good. So good. What'd you get? That actually is good. Extra stout. Extra stout. Extra thick. Look at that. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's got a bit of that. That stuff when you breathe out. When you breathe out, you like still taste it. You know, it like brings out more of the flavors. Did I mention we were in Canada? Where are we? Canada. Canada? Oh! 
Canada because we always like to walk around in here because it looks cool and it's a neat waterfall over here and there's not a lot of people through here a lot of times. You just kind of stroll stroll through here. Go down this cool pathway that looks really cool and it's nice to be quiet with your friends behind you backing you up and you come out to this beautiful beautiful garden area here it's beautiful all right guys we made a quick stop in new zealand after trekking through canada my friends got mussels these are green lip mussels so what does that mean green lip mussels are green oh yeah it's green and then we got, me and Jessica got the uh, so venison sausage. That's what we got. It looks pretty good. Got some sauce in it or something. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about, but it looks pretty good. Oh no, are you going to like this? Is this sweet potato? Oh no. Is it? I don't know. It's good, but I don't, it's not sweet potato. Alright, we're over at the cheese studio. I'm going to get me some of this maple bacon boars and cheesecake. Time for this. That's Got good. this maple bourbon hey, like, boars and cheesecake. This is gonna be something that I like, I bet. The bottom looks good, it's like a cake. Mmm. Words that start with the letter B are pretty good. Bacon. This is as good as barbecue. Bacon, Ooh. bourbon, borzen. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, as you might could have told, might could have told, you might could tell, the maple bourbon cheesecake, maple bourbon borzen yes. cheesecake, was real good. Things would start with B are good, so obviously next up we're going to Flavors from Fire. Barbecue starts with B. I think we're gonna get some swine brine. Starts with B. We just we just learned the secret. They also have burgers. No they don't. Anyways. Three corned beef left up the window. It's a big one this time. Oh this this is this is bigger than our last one. Oh my god. Just drink it. It's real good. It's just bourbon and meat juice. Bourbon and meat and juice. I'm so worried about it. Yeah? It's speechless. It's not bad. Tastes like juice. That is surprising. I think that might be a good idea. That's what I said. Yeah. Well, I have a meat flavor or something to it, but it just tastes like juice. Again, it's good. Delicious. I think that's good for your heart. Pretty sure. Swine brine? It's good for your cardiovascular. Clear out your arteries and stuff. I think. Pretty sure. So I got this RGB flight. It's a red, green, and quote unquote blue beer. It's not really blue, but it's okay. It's a blueberry. This is the this is the red cherry tart beer. No, like I would never start before. What? Good. It's not bad. You might actually like this. It doesn't taste like a beer. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does? Oh. Mm. This is the Grasslands Brewing Company Green Kiwi Blonde. It almost, it's kind of, kind of tastes like water, really. This is the blueberry. Tastes like blueberry. 
Tastes like snozzberries. Alright dudes, it's time for us to go back into the festival center for trip number four. Because we're going to get our what? Cutting boards. Cutting boards. We'll be able to cut anything we want. Now that we'll have these cutting boards. Oh, yes. Oh, that wonderful AC. This one? Cool. Thank you so much. Wow. Our boards. Now we can cut all kinds of things. We can cut all the things now. I'm gonna cut some stuff. Cut it out, right? Yes. Cut it out. Got our cutting boards. Just left the festival center. We're gonna head over to Spaceship Earth, meet up with our friends, and that'll be it for Epcot today. We'll zoom right over there, but like, but just like that. <laughs> I think we're gonna. We got some time to kill before we gotta before the bus gets here. So I think we're gonna go on a little Spaceship Earth. Just waiting on our friends. Yeah. They had to go potty. Your time machine will slowly rotate back and make stuff. Yeah, I'm All right, dudes, so that's pretty much it. A nice, relaxing, exciting day at Epcot. Boom. Got those cutting boards. Pretty successful day. Not hot. Crowds were down. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for coming along. If you want to see more, subscribe. There's more coming. But for now, as far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.